Hi friends, it's Miss Lauren. I have a story for you today and it's called Bugs A to Z. A is for ant. A single ant can carry 50 times its own body weight and they'll even work together to move bigger objects as a group. B is for bumblebee. A bumblebee produces a teaspoon of honey, about five grams in her lifetime. C is for caterpillar. Caterpillars are nicknamed eating machines since all they do is eat, eat, and eat. D is for dragonflies. Some adult dragonflies live for only a few weeks while others live up to a year. E is for earthworms. The earthworms are basically ground dwelling animals and they are mostly found underground. F is for firefly. A firefly's glow is a chemical reaction which makes them bioluminescent. G is for grasshoppers. A grasshopper has two antennae, six legs, two pairs of wings, and a small little pinchers to tear off foods such as grasses, leaves, and cereal crops. H is for honeybee. A honeybee visits 50 to 100 flowers during a collection trip. I is for inchworm. The life of an inchworm Inchworm starts out in life as eggs, spending the winter attached to the underside of leaves. J is for June bug. The common June bug is one half to five eighths inches long and reddish brown in color. K is for katydid. Katydids live in bushes and the canopy of trees, especially oaks, where they eat the leaves. Sometimes they eat the dead insects and aphids. L is for ladybug. Ladybugs are very helpful to a garden as they eat aphids and mites, which are bugs that are harmful to plants. M is for mosquito. Most species of mosquitoes are considered to be a major nuisance and pest because they consume the blood of humans and animals. N is for net wing beetle. Net wing beetles are one of the oldest animals. They have been here for over 300,000 years. O is for owl fly. An owlfly is usually mistaken for a dragonfly because they both fold their wings over their bodies. P is for praying mantis. The most eye-catching feature of the praying mantis are its front legs that make the insect look like it's praying. The insect uses its grasping front legs to capture and hold its prey. Q is for question mark butterfly. Question mark butterfly has a white mark on its wing that looks like a question mark. R is for rhinoceros beetles. Rhinoceros beetles are a popular pet in Asia among children. They are safe to handle, very clean, make little mess, and overall are very easy to maintain. S is for snail. A snail is a common name for gastropod mollusks that can be split into three groups, land snails, sea snails, and freshwater snails. T is for tarnished plant bug. The tarnished plant bug likes to eat vegetables and fruit. U is for Uncas skipper. Uncas skippers are very fast and strong flyers. They fly so fast that they are often seen as a blur for humans. V is for velvet ant. Velvet ants range in size from one eighth inch to one inch with great variation within species. W is for wasps. Wasps make nests from paper. They chew up strips of bark and spit it out again to form a rough paper. Some wasps make nests in basements, sheds, or dark, cool places. 
X is for Xerxes blue butterfly. The Xerxes blue butterfly is now an extinct butterfly. Y is for yellow plant bug. Beetles come in lots of colors. Beetles can be bright yellow, green, red, orange, or purple. Z is for zebra butterfly. The zebra longwing butterfly lives throughout Central America, Florida, and parts of Texas. The end.